Hello everyone! Kumusta? These are my sisters, Katleas or Katleas. Sa kapatid ko to, dinala namin dito and 6 years na ni sila, wala pagid na mulak. She had this since 2014 and until now, these Katleas haven't flowered yet and I was watching a YouTube video of Lynn Brooks and almost all of her Katleas are blooming. So I asked her some tips and she shared some. So I checked on these Katleas one by one. This one, I have already removed the charcoal or uling, the medium that my sister used. And here's what I found. Confirmed! These are scales! I thought these were just brown spots on their leaves and even on their roots there are also scales and look at this leaf. There are some spots and on the underside I have already removed some scales and these are their traces, the white spots. All of my sister's Katleas have scales and I am not familiar with this kind of insect or pest. And I am not sure if they are still alive because I have sprayed insecticide to all of these orchids before. And look at this. Diba ang dami? Lynn Brooks also suggested a video of Ed's orchids on how to treat this with bleach. A bleach treatment. So I'm going to use bleach. I will use Domex. Ihumol na ko ni sila sa Domex. And these Gatleas are so big. Ang lalaki nito. Dago kaayo pati ang dahon. And these also have scales. I have removed some here. Sayang lang kasi these haven't flowered yet. And I am wondering how large their flowers would be. Ito, ang dami. And even on their bulbs and on their roots. So I'm going to clean these orchids. I'm going to repot all of them. So, I am soaking them in water and in a large basin, only two Katleas could fit. So, I will leave them here for maybe at least 30 minutes and I will also do the same to the other Katleas. I am done soaking this in water and I will now remove her from the clay pot. I will just take out some of the loose charcoal and I will pull her out from the pot. So, umpisahan ko na siyang tanggalin dito sa pot na to. I will use this plastic fork and plastic card to try to loosen or remove the roots from the clay pot because I can't pull her out. The roots are strongly attached to the pot. So, gawin ko muna to kasi nakadikit talaga yung mga ugat sa pot. I think I can now pull her out. Ayan, natanggal ko na siya. And I will just throw all of this charcoal. I'm not going to reuse them because they might have scales in them. And look at the pot. So dirty. Meron pang eggshell. And now, I will remove all of this charcoal from the roots. And here she is. These are her roots. These roots look healthy but dirty. And 
Look at the bulbs. There are even scales on them. Ayan sila o. Oh. These are the scales and I can just remove them with my nails. And my hands are also dirty. Madali lang naman silang tanggalin. So, ayan. I will also do the same to the other Katleya. And this is challenging. There's even a new growth. This one is so huge. Ang laki talaga nito. So, I'll just do the same just like what I did to the other Katleya. I will also remove her from this pod. So, tanggalin ko din to. And here are her roots. There are lots of scales on the leaves and even on the pseudobulbs and some on the roots. So I will now soak them in bleach solution that I learned from Ed's Orchids. And I will also include the link of that video in the description so that you can also check that out. I prepared water in this large bucket and I will now add the bleach. This is the bleach that I'm going to use, a Domex, and I am not sure how much I will add to the amount of water that I have. So if you want to try this, kung gusto nyo ito i-try, check nyo muna yung video ni Ed's Orchids. And also, there's another video from Gardening at Duenza, and I will also include the link of that video in the description so that you have other reference. And now I am just adding my bleach and I'll just see if it's already enough. I think I have added enough bleach already. So now I will soak the Katleya here. I will start with the largest. So I'll just place her here and I will leave her for 10 minutes. And she can't fit. This is a large bucket. So I will just turn her upside down later. While waiting, I will clean the clay pots. I will now soak the leaves. I will also leave this for 10 minutes. I will now take her out from the bleach solution and then I will soak her in plain water. I will also soak the other one here. And now I will brush off the scales and I hope that they are dead. I'll use my nails if they can't be removed by this brush. So, kung ayaw nilang matanggal sa brush, yung kukuko na lang. Grabe, ang tagal kong matatapos nito. I have already brushed their leaves one by one, but I still see scales. So, I will clean this, even the roots, and I will just show you once I'm done. Tapos na to, so I'll rinse this with water. I cut or trim the brush even shorter so that it would be faster to remove the scales. And this is the other Katleya. 
and it's also easier to remove the scales or the dirt if you brush with angle. So, mas madaling tanggalin yung scale kung ipaslant yung brush. Brush this way so that you can easily remove the scales. I did the same process to the other katleyas and I have also cleaned these spots. I will also soak them in bleach solution before I'll reuse them. Good morning! Today I'm going to plant or repot these katleyas back to their clay pots and they are looking cleaner than yesterday. There are white spots but I have already removed the scales. I will use charcoal and wood barks for the katleya and I have soaked this in plain water overnight. This is the largest katleya and I'm going to clean its roots. I'm going to cut off all of the dead roots and I'll just upload a separate video on how to do that because this video might be very long. And I am done cleaning the roots and now I'm going to spray the roots with hydrogen peroxide. There are active root tips and I have also separated a small division and I removed the old pseudobulbs or the old growths. Now I will apply cinnamon powder on the wound or on where I cut the old bulbs and the division. I will use this uh, plastic string and we call this tie box and I will use this to tie the pseudo bulbs so that they'll become straighter and tidier. Ayan, it looks tidier and composed. Hindi na siya buhag-hag. I will now plant her in this pot and I will place charcoal at the bottom first. This pot was one of the old dirty pots that I cleaned and soaked in bleach solution. And after that, I also soaked this in water. And now I'm placing her and then I will add more charcoal. And she is done. Finally, I will also use some aluminum or metal wires. I will use this as stand to help stabilize the plant. And I have placed them. I inserted them at the side of the pot to help the weight of the leaves and to stabilize the orchid because it's very windy here. Masyadong mahangin. Baka matumba. And I think I did a good job. And she is looking pretty and cleaner. And now I will repot all of the other katleyas. And they are all done. I did not water them. The pots look wet because I've soaked them in bleach solution and water before I reuse them. Here's the largest katleya. 
This one is a small division of the large Katleya. And this one was the other big Katleya. And here I've combined two plants in one pot. I did not propagate them because I am saving space for more orchids. And this was the first Katleya that I showed you. I will not water them yet. I will wait for one week before I water them again because the first time that I did that, it was a success and I have a video about that and I will include a link of that video in the description. For now, I will place them here and I will wait for one week. Hello everyone! Today is May 25 and I have transferred them here. They are ready for their first watering. I will water them today with the rest of my other orchids. Magandang araw! Today is June 3 and I've transferred these Katleyas here. And I want to show you how are they doing before I post this video. This was the other big Katleya and I can see new roots there are active root tips and this one is already hugging the charcoal and here is the largest catleya and here are the roots there are still good roots and i am seeing new roots growing and here's the two-in-one, the two plants that I've combined in one pot. I planted in one pot. This is a small size Cattleya. And I am seeing here, there are lots of new roots growing. And here's the first Cattleya that I showed you. Look at the roots. They are growing and happy. And here's the small division and I see that her roots are growing. I wish that these Katleyas will reward me with flowers. Grabbing effort na ko. Thank you for being with me. Thank you for watching. Maraming salamat. Paalam. See you in my next videos.